Hey, what's up everyone out there in the ballroom mastery world? How are you today? I hope you're doing great. Let me know where you're from. Give me a little like or share a comment below. Uh, you know, myself and my beautiful wife Alison have been teaching dance for many, many years. We've been uh, professional competitors, uh, recently retired on the world stage, and we have found doing, of course, from our own introspection and those really painful moments of trying to improve your dancing to, of course, the happy ones and working with hundreds of uh, students over the years in our own studio and talking to dancers all around the world, well, we've basically come up to the, to the conclusion that there are three questions that you can ask yourself that will guarantee that you improve your dancing, that you're happier, and you stay more motivated. So stay on for this live as I go through this. Um, and I wanna welcome anyone who's watching and to just you know be interactive as I do these lives because I do this for you guys. I wanna share the content. I don't wanna be stuck in one studio in one place of the world. I wanna be able to help you wherever you are because uh, you can definitely improve if that's what you wanna do. And let me frame it like this. These questions are vitally important, but you've gotta always understand the why before you understand how something works. So, you know, I asked some students of mine recently how they feel about doing exams, how they um, uh, feel about getting judged, quote unquote, whether they're social dancing, medalists, or competitors. And they threw out a few things that you can probably relate to. One of those was they said that they feel um, they're worried about judgment from people, they're worried about not doing their best, and they're worried about never being the best, and lastly, of course, worrying about forgetting what they're supposed to do when, when the music is on and they might forget their routine. Can you, maybe you can relate to that. And so these fears, right, these, these fears of being criticized and judged, um, forgetting what they're going to do, uh, maybe not being the best or doing the best they can, uh, are, are, you know, those are relevant fears that everybody has. And I don't think most people recognize that as professionals, you still have self-doubt and you still feel... Um, like you need to prove something. You know, there's never a point where you sort of relax, and if you do, I think you need to, to, to back off and maybe stop performing. Uh, the greatest performers and artists in the world are constantly uh, having that inner dialogue in, inside, but there's a big difference, and I'm gonna share one tip for you right now. There is a big difference between criticizing yourself and critiquing yourself. So for example, if you do a step, you do a movement, and then you say, I'm shit. Well, that is being very critical of yourself. If you do a movement and say, that was shit, whole different ball game, right? One is directed at you, one is directed at the movement that came through you. And they have very different outcomes for how you perform and of course, how you ultimately improve over the long time as a dancer. So if you understand that we're not aiming to beat ourselves up to make ourselves feel bad, we're trying to extract the best from ourselves. And we don't have to be negative to ourselves to do that. And the coaches I found that are negative, you know, to an extent they might get good results. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but what I am saying is that they don't really, I don't think they get the best out of, out of their performers over the long term. You know, I have a good friend who is one of the world's top ballet dancers, recently put out with, a, with a, um, an injury. And the director of the company over in Zurich was just like, this guy was, he needed a hug. Right, that's probably the best way to say it. This guy needed a lot of hugs. Uh, he was not a very happy man. And it was just that feeling all the time of turning up and like, she just, she, I mean, she danced because she loved dancing, but she felt that he wasn't extracting the best. And she would get very, very critical of herself and never really enjoy the dancing she was doing. And I found that quite sad. You know, here you are on the best company in the world and you're, you're doing this and all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden you're getting critiqued so hard, uh, not critiqued, criticized so hard that you end up um, hating your dancing. You know, I'd never want to see that for you. I hope you can relate to that. So let's come back to this. If we're looking at forgetting our routines and we're worried about that, what that means is you're unprepared. If you're worried about judgment, it means you're looking at the audience like they're not your best friend. It means you're looking at the judges like they're not supporting you. The best tip I can ever give you when it comes to audiences is they are your friend. They're not there to see you fail. I've talked and I've danced in front of thousands of people all across the world, and I'll tell you one thing. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you do well. No one's ever come up to me at the end of something and said, hey, I, uh, I, I was waiting for you to fall on your face. 
<laughs> and you did, well done, right? They're always like, oh, that was really good. And then they're back to thinking about themselves. You know, if you're worried about not doing your best, um, what you're really is playing the comparison game. And when you compare yourself, there's only one way to do it. And that's the way that improves you the most, right? Like if you compare yourself to someone who is a professional and you're an amateur, uh, only do that as a way to see the gap of what you need to close to get better. You see, that's how you compare yourself. You can't compare yourself to the best in the world if you train one day a week and you're just a hobby dancer, you know, or you're just a medalist. It's unfair, it's not the right way to compare, right? You gotta use it for you, not against you, just like the criti critiquing yourself. Um, if you feel that you will never be your best self or be the best, that's what we call a limiting belief. You've gotta to start to understand that if you wanna be a better dancer, it starts inside. It's an internal dialogue, and it starts by you recognizing the beliefs that you hold about yourself and the potential that you could uh, exhibit when you dance. Uh, meaning that uh, it's important to have self-belief, that you can do this, and that if someone else has done it, that you can do it too. This is vital to you enjoying your dancing. Now, here are the three questions that you wanna ask yourself, and these are very important. This is during training, performances, anytime you want to uh, rapidly improve and to stay on track and to not get into that negative self-talking spiral. First thing is, uh, what did I do well? That's the first question to ask yourself. So if you do a movement, you start off with the positive, what did I do well? Then you ask yourself, what didn't work? So, you know, obviously maybe you're off balance when you took the step, but you turned your foot out. So that's really good, but you're off balance. So the next question, the third one is, what, uh, what didn't, or what can I do better, right? So it's, what did I do well? What didn't work? And what can I do better? If you ask yourself those three, any time you start to train that as the way that you look through your own lens at your dancing in a non-judgmental way that's gonna hurt you, but in a critiquing manner, I guarantee you, you'll improve uh, your motivation, you will enjoy dancing a lot more, and you'll actually extract a lot more of yourself uh, and become faster uh, in your improvement, and you will really just start enjoying your dancing a lot more. So look, if uh, this has been a benefit of you, let me know. Uh, I better get back to uh, some lessons now. And this is Vaughn. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys on the upcoming masterclass and some of the trainings that we're doing. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, contribute to the community and make sure you master the art of ballroom dancing with me.